Configuring accounts in Core FTP. This tutorial will show you how to configure accounts in Core FTP. Select the Sites menu. Select the Site Manager menu item. Click the Advanced button. The Advanced Site Settings contains options that can be configured to customize the interaction between Core FTP and the server. Select Connections. The Connections options allow you to set parameters such as transfer buffer sizes, connection retries after failed attempts, and reconnection options. Select the directory or folder. From here, you can specify the start folders for both your local machine and your server upon connection. Enter the remote start folder. For primary domains on cPanel accounts, this should be for subdomains and add-on domains if when connecting with the cPanel user, this should be For subdomains and add-on domains when connecting with a separate FTP user, this should be For primary domains on Plesk accounts, this should be For subdomains on Plesk accounts, depending on the configuration of the subdomain, this should be If this field is left blank, the remote directory will default to the user's home directory. Click the dot 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 button to browse and choose your local start folder. Click the OK button. Select Proxy. Some networks or providers may require you to route the connection through a proxy server in order to connect. Here is where you can configure the settings if this is the case. Select SSH. These settings enable you to configure Core FTP to use a secure FTP or SFTP connection. Select SSL TLS. This option allows you to enter your SSL keys to allow FTPS. SFTP should not be confused with FTPS, which is a means of establishing an encrypted FTP connection independent of the SSH service. Click the OK button once you've finished with your settings. Now let's enter the rest of the account information and connect to the server. Enter a site name. Entering a site name will help you differentiate your connections if you have more than one site. Now enter the host IP URL of your site. If your domain is still pointing to a different server or your DNS changes have not propagated yet, you can use the IP address of the server instead of a fully qualified domain name. Enter the username.
Enter the password. Select the type of connection you will be using to access your site. Click the Connect button. Congratulations! You now know how to configure accounts in Core FTP.